Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another review. You guys keep asking for reviews, so you ask and you shall receive. So today I'm going to show you how I got this whole makeup look using all of the new Maybelline products. I recently spotted them at Walmart. Um, if you guys are not following me on Snapchat, make sure you follow me because when I go out and I find stuff, I usually Snapchat snapchat about it and then ask you guys if you guys want to see a review if you say yes then mama buys it and reviews it so i really hope you guys enjoy this video if you want to know my thoughts and how i achieved this face using the new maybelline products then just keep on watching if i sound a little nasally it's because i'm super sick but i still want to get a video out for you guys so I think I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow first because I don't know if it's going to have a lot of fallout and I definitely want to prevent that. This is what the palette looks like. It is the 24K Nudes by Maybelline. It comes with a little eyeshadow thingy majinger which I never use. The colors are very pretty. Since I do have a concealing palette, this is in the shade medium or no, this is in the shade deep. I am going to use this one right here to use it as a base for the eyeshadow. It looks a little dark. Uh, we'll work with it. I'm just going to apply that creamy color all over the lid just to kind of set the base. I'm going to try and use as many shadows as I can. I think I want to go for more of a halo look. I'm going to go in with that dark brown color first and apply it to the inner and outer corners of the eye. I do wish they had a transition shade. As you can see, all of the shades are very dark or shimmery. They're not very matte. The ones that are matte are very dark. So I do wish they had a transition shade in here. That would be perfect, but they don't. So I'm just going to work with what I have. Now, I know this looks a little crazy, but I promise it'll look better as we go along. So next, I'm going to pick up that dark. It's almost like a navy blue, but it's more towards a black. And we're just going to deepen up that outer and inner corner just to make it a little bit more smoky. Picking up that gold shade, I'm going to spritz my brush a little bit with some setting spray. Um, and I'm going to apply that all over the center of the lid to give us that spotlight halo effect. So now I'm just going to clean up around the eyebrows using the Maybelline Brow Precise Perfecting Highlighter. I picked mine up in the shade medium. It looks pretty promising. Twist it up and I really like how it is shaped so it'll go right underneath the brows. And it's pretty creamy. Now it is pretty light for it being medium. This product is actually pretty good. It glides on very nicely underneath the brows. Now for mascara, I'm going to try this one as well. It is the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Fully Loaded Volume in One Coat Mascara. It says that 8 out of 10 people saw like a lot of length in the lashes so i don't know i am excited to try this i'm not a huge mascara person i really don't care for them because i wear falsies but i'm excited to try this one so that is what the packaging looks like i actually really like it because it is um gold and gold is one of my favorite colors and that is what the wand looks like i'm actually going to leave the eyes alone for a minute and i'm going to move on to the concealer um, I am going to be using the orange concealer um, or the corrector. I have pretty gnarly black under eyes right now because I am sick and I just haven't been able to sleep. So I'm going to take a little bit of this and apply it underneath the eyes. So I do want to go in with the foundation first and this is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Liquid Foundation on the go. I picked mine up in medium beige because the one next to it looked a little bit too dark. As always, it comes with this little sponge, which I don't typically like these, but for the purpose of this video, I am going to use it. That is what the color looks like, and we're just going to take the little sponge and 
apply it that way. And then on this side of my face, I'm going to use a brush. So there it is. That is one side with the foundation with the foundation on. And as you can see, my skin definitely looks a little bit on the dewy side. So I would have to say it is a satin finish. And it is definitely medium to full coverage. It covered up a lot. Um, and this is the side without it. So you guys can kind of see for yourselves, you know, what the foundation looks like with and then without it. On this side, I'm going to take a brush just to see how it applies. This is my favorite foundation brush. It is the Pro Sculptor by Beauty Junkies. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell a difference, but with the brush, it definitely goes on a little bit more sheer. So if you want a fuller coverage, I suggest you going in with a beauty blender. I really do like the coverage of the foundation, and I really like how it looks on the skin. My skin looks very healthy, very dewy, very fresh. So if you like that type of finish, you will really enjoy this foundation. If you are NC40 to NC42, this foundation might match you just perfectly because I think it's a pretty darn good match for my skin tone. I am going to go back into the palette and I'm going to use some of these concealers. I'm really not looking forward to this because I can already tell that these are not going to be the best. I am going to mix a little bit of this yellow one with this one right here. The feeling of these concealers, they feel way too greasy. And me being oily, I just, oh my god, this just, it drives me nuts because I already feel like I'm going to be a hot, greasy mess. I'm going to use this camouflage color because it is pretty dark and I'm going to use this to contour my face. I'm going to use that beauty blender again and just blend that color onto the skin. This color is really nice. It's a little bit on the warmer side versus a cool shade. But I personally like warmer shades on my face, you know, versus cool tones. I feel like they go better with my skin color. So I just finished off the eyes. I popped on some lashes and finished my lower lash line. Um, so now we're going to move on to blushes. Now it doesn't have a name on it. So I'm just going to go based off of the colors and say this is like the plum um, palette. Now typically this is not something that I would personally pick up. But this is the only shade of blushes that they had. So I grabbed it because I really wanted to try it out. Um, I think I'm going to go go... I'm going to pick up the darkest shade because that's the only shade that I can see myself really using, um, you know, on a daily basis. Now the highlighter looks pretty promising. It is this one right here. Let's do a swatch. So that is the highlighter. Now it does have more of those pinky undertones which don't, I don't feel like they look so well on me because I'm so dark skinned, but we'll see. Wow, that is pigmented. So I went ahead and finished off the rest of my face off camera. As you can see, I am all done. And let me say, I love this look. It is so... Not me, but I love it. If you guys are wondering what's on my lips, I am wearing the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lipstick in Cinnamon Toast. <gasps> this color is everything. On the inner corners of my eyes, I did went back with the Maybelline palette and applied... Uh, this shimmery shade which is like a champagne pink shade so now on to the actual review I am actually really liking this palette 
like I said, their other palettes haven't been the greatest, but this one, I think they've improved a lot as far as the quality. The eyeshadows are very pigmented. I mean, I can only really speak for these, the dark brown, the blackish one, and the gold one. Um, but as you can see, they're very pigmented. They're very blendable on the eyes, and for the price, it's really not that bad. Now, the concealer, I wasn't crazy over. The only actual color that I really liked was the corrector one which is the orange one i do have already have an orange corrector so for me it's not something that i would personally um use again i don't think i'm going to use this palette it is pretty decent if you're looking for a lot of concealers in one palette it's okay but it's too greasy it doesn't provide the full coverage that I look for in a concealer. So for that, for me, this one is a skip. I just, I don't love it. Now the mascara, this mascara sucks. It really didn't do anything for my bottom lashes. I have other mascaras that give me a little bit more length. This one kind of makes them look a little bit skinnier. I think it really separates them, which I don't like that. I mean, I don't like my lashes looking clumpy, but I do like them to look thick and full. And this one just didn't do anything anything for me so for this no. no no now as far as the brow corrector or the brow perfecting highlighter i actually really like this i think it's a pretty uh, nice tool i like how it is shaped so it is nice to get underneath the brows um i don't think it's nothing crazy you know it's nothing special i can do the same thing with my concealer which i do do i personally wouldn't buy it again as far as the foundation i really 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 dig i really did like the foundation i think it gives a very nice coverage with the little sponge that you apply it with i think the color matches me perfectly i will update you guys down below and let you know as far as how long it wore on my skin because i am oily so check that out if you guys are interested and then the very last product the blush palette i think it's a pretty decent and it's a nice palette for the drugstore i really like that maybelline um adds a highlight onto like their contour palettes this is obviously the highlight that i applied on my cheekbones and as you can see it's pretty intense it is more of a pink tone base highlight if you are lighter skin, I think this is going to look really pretty on you. And if you are darker skin like me, it is going to look a little bit more lilac-y. But it is a pretty highlight. So that is my review on these new Maybelline products. If you guys have spotted any new makeup, please let me know down below. Because I love doing these reviews for you guys and I know that you guys enjoy them. Let me know what you guys thought of these products. Are you going to be picking up any of these new babies? Because... I think there's some some good products in there for Maybelline. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I love you chicas and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.